Hey guys, thanks so much for visiting uh, Carnivorous Plants Hub. I can't wait to bring you this update. Uh, but real quick, I just wanted to take a moment and ask that you support me and my channel by subscribing or giving this video a like. I have a dream one day to open a carnivorous plant nursery uh, and we really would appreciate your support. Uh, just a like or subscription to this channel really goes a long way in helping me and I just wanted to let you know how much I appreciate it. Thanks a lot and let's go ahead and uh, check out this update. Hey guys, welcome to Carnivorous Plants Hub. Uh, today I'm going to be sharing with you my update on my uh, Venus flytrap flower stalk propagation attempt. Um, I just wanted to give you guys kind of an update on, I've tried it three times now. Uh, first time, second time, third time. And I want to show you guys what I have here, if I have anything growing, uh, my successes, my failures. And I'm also going to be asking for a little advice from um, the community here on YouTube uh, to get a little bit of help in having more success with this uh, propagation attempt. Um, so I, I brought in my first attempt just because this is how this all started. This was my first video. And honestly, at this point, guys, this is actually more comedic relief than anything because holy crap, this was a complete failure. Nothing, nothing, nothing happened. Um, and it looks like nothing happened probably because I let it dry out. But honestly, I've let these dry out because nothing happened. Um, I kept these very, very moist, very watered down. But now you can see I got, a, I got some cool little, some cool moss growing in there, which is pretty interesting, I guess. Um, but obviously not what I was hoping for. Um, no Venus fly traps took from this. Uh, so I've just kind of let these dry out. And the only, the only reason I really kept them um, is just to kind of show you guys um, my first attempt and, and to talk through what, what I did with my first attempt. I kept these very t uh, wet from the top. I kept them very wet from the tray on the bottom, um, but I didn't cover them. Um, so what I was finding is that even though I was filling them up um, probably every three or four days is that they were they were getting a little more dry than I would like and it's probably because I didn't have them covered but uh, either way uh, zero success rate on my first batch um, and you can see my video for flower stock propagation um, I'll put it in the description here so you guys can check out that first video and see what I did and how I did it um, not that you probably really want to because I didn't have any success so 0 for 1 guys on that one put these away and I'll probably throw those in the trash here pretty soon honestly okay let's move on to attempt number two so this was my second attempt and honestly guys I haven't looked at this this one for about a week so we're gonna be kind of jumping into this one together um, this one I have these both sitting in a pretty deep tray of water here distilled water um, and I did keep keep baggies over these so let's go ahead and pull these baggies off and see what we got here Okay, so I do still see a little green, so all hope is not completely lost. However, um, let's see. So here's what we got here. It looks like most of the flower stalks have turned black. Um, this guy here looks like it's still pretty healthy, this one that curls around, but I don't see any shoots coming off yet. That one's still on the ground, but it's got a lot of kind of moldy stuff on the top. Um, this one is still in the ground and looks pretty healthy, so we could still get something from that one. Um, and this one here is probably the healthiest of the bunch, but it looks like it's turning black pretty rapidly. So, uh, these guys have been in here. Oh shoot, you know what, I honestly am not sure. Um, I'm going to go ahead and when I'm editing this, I'll take a look at the date because I don't remember when I started this second batch. And I'll flash it across the bottom for you guys so you can see how long that these ones have been sitting in here like this. So here's the other side. Um, the one that's up and down is still green. Um, but all the ones that I had laying down in this one are all turned black and dead now. So one thing I can say so far for sure is that most people tell me, and when I used to do this, um, I used to get the most success from the ones that I laid down. But being honest with you guys, when I did this in, in the previous area that I lived, I did this outside and then I left these outside. Okay, I left, I left them to get natural sun. Problem with me right now is this. I do not have natural sun. I have that white crap all over the place. It's snowy here. Um, and we just had a huge snowstorm. We've not had any sun. It's been very dark and gloomy outside and it's not really great weather for, for propagating because it's very, very cold outside. We're talking like 30s and 20s right now. So I've had to do all of this propagating inside um, and I haven't had much success yet. So we're gonna take a look at this last tray here, um, my third attempt to see if we have anything, but that's kind of where I'm at today. Uh, with this one it's not looking great it's not over yet because we still got green there's still potentially some shoots that could come up here but so far that's where we're at nothing nothing too special there let's move this guy aside I have been keeping these under um, 
the lights. I don't put them under my big Vipar Spectra light. I think that's kind of overkill for this. Um, I've actually kept these under my um, 36 watt um, Sansi lights. Uh, so that's they're not getting it. They're not getting like a ton of light, but they're getting enough uh, throughout the day So here's my third attempt. Uh, you can see these are a lot more green. Um, I've actually kept these um, in This this tray of water here. Oh Sorry, I wasn't even filming. I'll show you kind of so I kept it in this little bit So I've got a I cut the top off of a little flower pot and I put it down inside of this um, and then I put water inside of the, the little Tupperware thing. So it gives it kind of a, so it's down under there and it makes it easier for me. I can just cover it with some saran wrap instead of trying to cover the whole, the whole thing with a baggie. Now, um, guys, this is the first time I've actually looked at this one and I just noticed something interesting. It looks like I might have uh, something going right here. Let's take a look. This one here actually looks like it's starting to grow something. I don't know if you guys can see that. Look at that, it looks like there are some nodes coming off of that piece. Um, shoot, let me do that again, let me focus in here again. That looks pretty promising, guys. Not gonna lie, that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for that growth. So, um, that actually could be a success. Looks like maybe a little bit coming off of that one. This one doesn't look like it has anything yet. Uh, guys, let me know in the comments, is this is this consistent with what you see with these new growths? So this is what I remember seeing. Um, it's been a few years, but this is kind of what I remember seeing. So this looks pretty promising, guys. I think I might get some uh, some starts from that one in particular. So uh, yeah, I do have my first success. So uh, I'm really, really excited about that. Um, we're going to be keeping a really close eye on this one, guys. My next update, hopefully I'll be able to give you some, uh, some better updates with uh, more growth coming off of that piece. So far, it's the only one that I see right now that actually took. Uh, the only thing that I've done different with this one, guys, you can see how wet this one is. This one's actually way more wet than either of the other two, and I think it's because I've kept it inside of this Tupperware uh, with it being covered with saran wrap, um, and it's down inside there. So this is probably the method that I'll keep using going forward. But yeah, look at that, guys. I think we have some success. Hopefully, hopefully. Okay. So yeah, so, so far, that's where we're at. Um, again, I'm not sure when I started this one, but... Um, I'll go ahead and flash across the screen so you guys can see how long this one's been sitting inside of this Tupperware. Uh, I've kept it covered. I've given it some exposure to light. So um, light is probably 8 to 10 hours a day worth of total light. Uh, and it's just kind of sitting with my other Nepenthes that are getting the, the same amount of light. So uh, yeah, guys, I'm really, really, really excited about that because I was starting to get a little uh, discouraged. So um, even though I have something here, guys, it's still not great. My success rate is obviously super, super low, and I still don't 100% know if that's going to be a success or not, but at least it's heading in the right direction. Um, I was hoping you guys could leave me some some comments, some tips, some advice. Uh, what do you guys suggest? I'm completely open to trying something different. I don't have any flower stalks right now to experiment with, uh, but I will be doing more flower stock propagation in the future. Um, so guys, please help me out. Shoot me some tips. Uh, I live in the Northwest, in an area that's really low with humidity. I know humidity doesn't have a big bearing on um, the v Venus flytraps as much as they do other carnivorous plants. But uh, yeah, let me know what works for you guys. What what have you been doing that that um, will help you get these flower stalks to propagate well? And especially coming from the the in indoor side of it, right? If if I need to do this in the indoors, what works well for you guys? Uh, any tips are super appreciated and. Um, yeah, so hopefully I'll, I'll, I'll try to give you guys another update on this as soon as anything exciting happens. Uh, so make sure and subscribe to the channel, like, uh, being you guys being here is in support of my dream of opening up a carnivorous plant nursery, um, and liking my video, subscribing to my channel, all those things really help me. Um, I'm really just trying to learn everything that I can right now. Uh, I think it's really important for me to learn and be a complete expert in my area and how to grow these plants before I start selling them to other people. Uh, so I'm just kind of trying to relearn this entire craft in a completely different um, part of the country that has completely different weather. So uh, that's what I'm doing right now and I want to be able to propagate these guys and uh, teach people how to do this kind of stuff. So uh, I want to learn from you guys, my community, because I know there's a lot of really big experts out there, people that have been doing this for a really, really long time. and. And I appreciate you being here and I appreciate you guys giving me all the advice that, that I can. So thanks a lot guys. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.